President Obama will be there, so too will Gordon Brown, but not a single member of the royal family is attending the 65th D-Day commemorations in France next week. The reason? It seems they didn't get an invitation. Our correspondent, Peter Hunt, is at Buckingham Palace. Why not, Peter? Well, very simply, as you're saying, no invitation was forthcoming for the Queen or indeed for any single member of the royal family. Today, the Queen was doing what she normally does, going about her business at RAF Cranwell in Lincolnshire. Five years ago, she was in Normandy and she delivered a speech there where she talked about D-Day being the most dramatic military operation in history. This year, there'll be no such words because she won't be there. Now, to understand this sorry saga, you have to go back several months and look at government policy. Several months ago, government policy was that the 65th anniversary wouldn't be honoured in the same way as the 60th. Now, that policy was diluted after pressure from D-Day veterans and some newspapers, and Gordon Brown announced that he would represent the country in France. But crucially, no invitation was ever extended to any member of the royal family, and normally such requests are made up to six months in advance of such big set-piece occasions. So who's to blame? Well, that is the uh, $64 million question. Someone, somewhere, or indeed some people somewhere, took their eye off the ball. And by yesterday, we had the British and French flatly contradicting each other. You had the French saying that uh, they'd be honoured to have Queen Elizabeth in France, but it wasn't for them to decide who represented Britain. Downing Street at the same time was insisting that they couldn't invite the British royal family. The royal family themselves can't just turn up. And so we have a scenario where next month, uh, representing at D-Day for the D-Day commemorations of this strategic turning point in the Second World War, you'll have an American head of state, a French head of state, but not a British one. Peter Hunt, thank you very much. A 66-year-old woman has given birth to a baby boy, making her the oldest mum.